गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग गुड इफ यू फॉलोइंग मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू नो दैट आई एम करेंटली नॉट इन इंडिया एंड हेंस द चेंज इन सेटिंग हियर एंड इफ यू डोंट नो मी माई नेम इज दिव्या सहादेवन एंड दिस इज माई लिटिल चैनल वेर आई शेयर एवरीथिंग दैट आई एम पैशनेट अबाउट विद यू गाइज एंड वाइल्ड यू हियर एंड इफ यू फाइंड माई कंटेंट इंटरेस्टिंग मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इट विल रियली रियली हेल्प एनकरेज मी एंड कीप माई चैनल गोइंग सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गुड बी शेयरिंग विद यू वन ऑफ माई फैमिलीज रियली नोस्टैलजिक मेमोरेबल uh recipe this is something that i've eaten a lot in my childhood we have a lot of memories associated with this it's also a great hearty warm uh, it's like a one pot dish which you can share with your family it's also perfect for christmas christmas is just right around the corner so if you want to make a simple baked dish this one is perfect for you so without stalling further let's get this video started Firstly, let's take a look at what we need to make our pastry. And for that, you need two and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. You need really cold uh, butter, right off the fridge, one eighty-five grams of salted butter, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar. So first, you're going to chop your uh, butter or dice it rather into cubes. If you want to make your job easier you can grate your butter as well but uh well the clean up isn't so easy so i'm just going to dice it here now i'm going to mix this butter with the all purpose flour the salt and the sugar and what i'm trying to do is just try to break down the butter using my fingers uh so it gradually kind of melts into the dough just using your body temperature you know from your hands it kind of breaks down so you don't want to use softened butter thinking that's going to make your job easier but the crumbly texture is you know what you're going to get by you know slowly kind of breaking down your butter into the flour until it forms kind of a grainy sort of feel so uh don't use melted butter but just work with this and you will see that your dough kind of comes together slowly as you keep doing this you see that it's slowly starting to come together and it's almost forming a dough like consistency you see that so that's that's what you want to get and at any point if you feel it's becoming a little too dry just pour in a few drops of really chilled cold water and that will kind of you know bring your dough together so just make sure that you're you know putting in the water very little at a time you don't want to overdo the water uh and that's going to kind of ruin your dough so um at this point if you can see my dough has come together nicely and i'm just going to separate this out into two equal portions and then you're just going to keep this in your fridge until you make your filling So for my filling I need a uh, chicken and I'm using 3/4 cups of chicken this is already boiled and uh, I've just shredded it or kind of you know just scrambled it out and uh, around 4 pods of garlic 2 cups of chicken stock so when I boiled my chicken I just you know just put in a little extra water to get that stock 2 tablespoons of again all purpose flour and then you can add in the vegetables that you wish here i'm using one carrot um around 1/4 cup of uh, sweet corn um 1/4 cup of green peas uh this is already boiled uh an onion that is roughly diced a few cubes of butter just to saute all the vegetables one cup of milk yeah so uh first i add in my butter and to this i'm going to add in all my vegetables and basically try and sort these so i'm adding my carrots my onions and you give it a few minutes before you add in the rest of the vegetables because they are almost you know they're all cooked and they don't take much time so once my carrots and onions are just slightly you know uh sorted i'm adding the sweet corn and the green peas 
give this a nice stir you want to make sure that you know all your vegetables kind of uh, you don't want that water in there so i'm just going to saute this for a few minutes until it's kind of becomes dry and mainly the carrots because the carrots were not uh, pre-boiled so once your carrots are looking like they are cooked and they're soft you can go ahead and add the two tablespoons of all-purpose flour here and mix it nicely so that there are no lumps of the flour in your mixture once it's nicely mixed through add in your chicken stock so of course the filling over here which i am talking about is uh, chicken but you can make this veg as well use mushrooms instead so i've added my chicken stock and then after giving it a stir i added my cup of milk and uh, make sure you keep stirring well at this point so it's going to start getting thick and that's what the all-purpose flour is for it makes it really nice and saucy so to this i'm adding my chicken again giving it a good mix and at this point um, make sure that you taste it and season it well with some salt and pepper I'm just going to let this on um, for a few minutes until it's reached a nice thick consistency. I don't want it to be too watery or flowy. So till then, um, I'm just going to let it stay. Make sure you keep it on low heat. You don't want to be burning it. So just leave it on low heat until you think it's thick enough. And since there's no really other spices in your chicken pot pie, if you want it a little spicy, you can add in a little bit more extra pepper like I'm doing here. But it's totally up to you and up to your taste buds, you know, how much spice you take. Or if you don't want it at all, you can just skip it. So this is looking nice. I think... This is the point where I'm going to turn off the stuff and let this cool. And while this is cooling, we can move to our next step and roll out our pastries from the fridge. Uh, you can be nice and gentle with it. It's going to be a little hard when you take it off the fridge. So just give it some time. Even though it cracks, you don't have to panic because all you need to do is just transfer it to your tray and you can just, you know, use your fingers and get it to... Um, join together and you know make your base of your uh, pot pie so as you can see here I've thoroughly cracked my base but there's nothing to worry I'm just going to kind of get them all to just join and take bits and pieces from here and there and stick it onto the sides as well so you want to completely cover the base and the sides and this is how it looks once I'm done. And to this, make sure your mixture is, it can be warm, but don't pour it in piping hot. So I'm going to just transfer it into this bowl. And because we can all use extra seasoning, I'm going to season this little with some dried parsley. And then I'm going to cover this again with a sheet of my pastry which is rolled out. Again just adjust it out to kind of uh, patch in any gaps or um, any cracks that would have formed. So I'm going to remove all the extras from the sides. And you can even make some you know patterns or designs. with any extra dough that you may have remaining. A chicken pot pie is basically a pretty rustic sort of pie dish. So it doesn't have to look uh, kind of perfect. And I think this homely sort of look is what gives it that whole, you know, uh, rustic look. So go with some simple design. It doesn't have to be too fancy and it's going to just turn up perfect so the last thing that you want to do is beat an egg and just um, 
apply it on the top as an egg wash and that's going to give you a nice beautiful shiny golden crust so that's why we are putting the egg wash and over this again i'm going to just sprinkle some uh, dry parsley so this goes into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at 180 degrees and pre it's pretty much cooked so all you need to do is wait until it gets that beautiful crusty golden brown top so when it comes out it's going to be looking like this and it is going to be smelling fab and that's when you know your chicken pot pie is done i hope you enjoyed this video and i really wish that you tried this out this recipe is so close to my heart it would mean so much if you guys try it out and let me know what you think on the comment section below so if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll see you again next week with a new video till then take care it's me baby signing out